What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video with the F-150. Today we're going to be doing something that changes the interior look a little bit. Actually quite a bit. I've already done it. I put everything back together so I can show you guys the video. And well let's just get into it. So behind me I have my dome light. It's got the incandescent lights. Eh, they're, they, they're functional. Let's say that. The front one's here, same thing. Incandescent. But for 12 bucks, I bought myself a kit, LED kit off of eBay. I'll put the link in the description of the kit that I bought. It comes with quite a few lights. It comes with, I think, just three of these. And then it came with one, two, three, four, five, six. I think six of these ones. So inexpensive. They're cheap LEDs from China or wherever, but you know what? They work. So what we're going to do today is swap these in. So first thing to do the front ones, there's just the two light bulbs in here, this one and that one. We're going to open up the sunglass holder if it wants to open. It's been getting stuck lately. I don't know why. And then what we're going to do is pop down this side, pop down this side, close that back up so you guys can see, and then just kind of work your way around and pop off the rest of the bezel so now we got the bezel that's off we'll set that aside and then there's this tinfoil aluminum piece that we're just going to pop off as well set that aside and then you'll see the light bulbs in here we'll pull the light bulb out here's a new one oh, apparently it uh jumped to its death all right so let's just pop the new one in just like so, boom, and bam, look at how much brighter that is. All right, so comparison really quick. Yeah, look at that, so much brighter. Yeah, it's like rainy and dreary outside, so that's why we're doing a video inside the truck this time, sorry. All right, so pass, er, yeah, technically passenger side, pop that one in, so much nicer. Now we just gotta put everything back in. So we'll take the metal bezel. It's gonna go back in like so. And it's got like these two little tabs you'll see here that just kind of push back on to where it was. Sorry, I'm like not holding the camera where it needs to go. So push the tabs back in, everything like that. And then get this bezel. And this bezel will snap back into place like so and what's gonna happen is there's these tabs these ones right here they have to go inside the light not inside but like inside the housing for it to snap in properly it's kind of difficult with one hand but it's doable all right so it's all snapped in all nice and flush all right so now we got those two lights so much brighter in here I'm, I'm really happy I got these. Now we're gonna jump to the back seat and do the back dome light. Change all, all right, three of these. That's better. I put on my work light over there. All right. So, got my Leatherman. There's a slot right up here. Now you're not gonna wanna go up against the fabric. There, You'll just wanna go right below it because there's the plastic, as you can see right there, that you're trying to separate it like that. Just pop it off. Set that aside, and then we got three lights in here, incandescents. Just want to pull those out. Might help to use the Leatherman, or your screwdriver, or pry tool, whatever you have. Now, when I first did this, these are a little bit smaller diameter, so if you just go in here and squeeze the tabs, just to tighten it up a bit, this way they hold better. All you gotta do is snap them in. And yes, this light, when I, it stays on. <laughs> but it's very faint, and it hasn't killed my battery yet, so I'm okay with it. Just, uh-oh. Oh, that's part of the light bulb. Never mind, that's not important. All right, so pop that light bulb in. Pop in this LED, make sure they're facing the correct way. Got to pull this one out, set that one over there, pop this one in. All right, so we just shut off the light. I hit this tab right here. Now these are actually directional. So this way, 
the LED doesn't work. This way, the LED does work. And it's a little loose in there, so I'm just gonna tighten up the tabs a little bit. Oh my goodness. All right, so we just snapped that right into place. That is really bright for you guys and me. So both those lights work. This one, yes, does kinda stay on. It's very faint, but hasn't bugged me. No one sits in the back seat that often. Just snap that back on and all the lights work. And it looks really good. So let me open the driver door here so I can get out. Open the back door so I can get out. Those lights are on. This light is on, it's really bright. Sorry about that. I'm stepping on my USB charger. Seriously, I like. All right, so if I had to sit behind myself, this is how I would be sitting. I would be hugging the front seat with my knees. Doable for a short trip. All right, so we just changed the lights real time, not a big deal. Super easy was, like I said, I think they were like 12 bucks on eBay. You can find cheaper ones. And it comes in a kit. I actually put two of the LEDs that came in the kit in my reverse lights as well. They're not, I don't think they're brighter than the incandescent. I mean, they're more white and they're more stand, like they stand out more. However, they don't really light up behind me all that much more different. But it just, it feels nicer having the whiter lights. I just like white light. But honestly, as soon as I did this upgrade to the interior, I mean, it even brightened up just right now turning it, turning them on even with it still kind of being light outside. I'm really happy with it. I'm glad I did it. And it does make it feel like a newer truck, like, like a 2017 or 2018 that already has LEDs inside. It feels like a newer truck. And I know it's a 2013 and it's already six years old now. It's actually six years old this month. It was manufactured February of 2013, which is kind of cool. So, I mean, it's the little things in life, really. I get joy out of the little things. So 12 bucks, new lights, I'm happy with it. But but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna stop rambling and let you guys go. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a dislike, but let me know what I can prove on for next video. And as always, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.